Hello and welcome or welcome back to my Dandelion Diaries and welcome to the very first video of 2024. Of course, I wanted to start this year off great with a flip through of this chunky monkey right here. So I am very satisfied and proud of myself for this book. Uh, if you missed my last video, this is the biggest Hobinchi cousin I have ever made. Um, years prior, they're much thinner than this. So I wanted to do a flip through with you guys of the front to the back or as many pages as I can show just because, you know, this is a personal planner for me. There are things that I will be covering up to protect, you know, loved ones in my life and things that I don't really think need to be on the internet. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. There will be some sticky notes around here. But I just wanted to start this video off with saying that 2023 was, I don't know, an interesting year for me. It's, it was definitely a year of growth and I feel like going into 2024, I know it's just started or whatever, but like I feel like I have so much more appreciation for my past self and things I've accomplished that I have a good outlook going into 2024 and like what I want um, just to achieve in this new year. But this is a flip through video, not a goal video. So we're just going to start with the flip through and I'll try to talk about as much of the stuff as I can, but I don't want this video to be like two hours long because we could probably spend a whole day going through this bad boy. And so yeah, I'm just going to jump straight in. The cover of this, I went ahead and decorated with Coffee Monsters Co. vinyls uh, a long time ago, obviously beginning of the year. And this sparkly tape is what I talked about in most of my setup videos. So you'll have to go to one of those if you want to know what the brand is. I think it's Tazzle or something like that. I have a card here that I switched out a few times. I, I like astrology and moon phases and things like that. So I typically pick something that was more astrology related. Uh, this one is from Sticker Guru. The clear cover I have here is the Midori A5 one page one day and it held the chunk pretty well. I would definitely say when I first put it on the planner when it was still skinny it was really loose but over time it has filled out this cover which is why I picked it because I figured I was going to have a chunky book this year. Anyways, moving on. This is more vinyls from the Coffee Monsters Co. These are little dot stickers from Erin Condren that I'm using up. Um, I'm just using up my stash with a lot of the things that I've been doing this year, this past year, and then into 2024, I'm trying to use up my stash more. And then I just wrote in 2023 there. This big sticker is from Magic of Eye. This is a label, planner label from the Coffee Monsters Co. I wrote this quote here from Ralph, Ralph Waldo Emerson. And then um, this is another vinyl from the Coffee Monsters Co. I will preface now, I use a lot of the Coffee Monsters Co just because she has everything that I could ever want. Um, I have a very large stash of hers that I have been making my way through. Uh, but towards the end of the year, you'll kind of see how my my style changed and it was really cool to watch like when I was flipping through this myself. But anyways, these, this page, these pages, <laughs> the year to glance pages, I covered up with the Coffee Monsters Co. freebies from her Facebook group. I just sized them to fit the little calendars that were underneath this. And I just had fun doing the 2022, 2023 and 2024 all together on one page and really liked how that turned out. For these pages, I went ahead and covered up some things I'm not comfortable sharing, but the the gist of this was basically an index of my back pages. So every single day I wrote down a little snippet of what happened that day. So it's kind of like a yearly snapshot in a way, um, like of what I did on that specific day, or if it was like a bad day, or if I was sick, or if we did anything fun, like whatever. And then at the bottom, I just did a main picture version of like the top three things or four things from that month. So like we'll use May, for example, I got my first Estabrook SD pen. Um, my boyfriend flew to Las Vegas and then one of our chickens got eaten by a hawk, <laughs> like three different random memories, but they were pretty substantial for me. And then at the top, I went ahead and used this section as like a social media stats kind of tracker, like of how many videos I was doing, posts, follows from Instagram, etc. Um, just to kind of have a little place that I can keep track of that. Um, I, I enjoyed it. It was fun to see my progress. That is for sure. And this is the last six months. I will say for November and December, 
I did not stick with this section as much as I wanted to. I, I, I don't know if I fell off or it was just I was so busy with the holiday season and getting everything ready to go on our vacation and like whatever. I just I didn't fill it out as much and I definitely got sick in December pretty badly that I was down and out for almost two weeks. So didn't update that. I also ended up changing my top section here to where instead of doing like totally just social media, I also changed it to orders and sales. And then in hindsight, I didn't even fill it out because I was tracking all that information in my work slash my dandelion diaries planner. So it felt like duplicate information. So I just didn't even didn't even fill it out here. But I may go back in at some point. I don't know. But since that information is elsewhere, I'm not really that worried about it. For the monthly section, I mainly used these as a monthly planning. Like I, I just wrote down things that I was keeping track of. I used the Coffee Monsters Co. kits. I used color scheming. I, I liked this, but I have to say it's not my favorite. I definitely wanted to do something different going into next year. I, I enjoyed using the kits from the Coffee Monsters Co. for 2023, but 2024 I did not purchase any. I'm going to try to do things a little differently just because I felt like this was such, I don't know, I didn't use these pages to the best of their ability. So I want to try to use them better to like help better myself. But I just used, like I said, the kits for all of the months and each month is a little bit different with a little bit different stuff going on, but mainly all of the same things. Oh, okay. So October is actually one month where I changed a little bit but it was so busy that it was really hard for me to reference this again. So I started doing like a sticker a day with a little brief synopsis of the day in the little box. And this looks really busy and I'm not a huge fan of how it turned out. I like the concept, but I think I just had so many things going on and it was just too, min too much. It was just too much. But towards the end of the year, I stopped filling out, honestly, the monthlies. I just did the stickers and moved on. And that's okay. I also did not do anything with the extra monthly pages. I I don't really always know what to do with these. Um, that is one of my gripes for the Hobonichi Cousin is the extra monthlies are nice, but I don't always have a need for them. So I, I leave them blank, which is fine. Moving on into the weeklies, are, this is probably like the beef of my planner here like how I actually plan is by week so I start usually by like what's the word I'm looking for consequential like sequential maybe I think is the word I'm thinking of but it's basically like by time but not by time so like the timeline in the Hobonichi Cousin does exist I just don't always follow it so I, I just go in order of like what I'm actually doing for the day. Like even though I'm starting things up here, like sleeping in at 5 a.m., which I, makes sense, um, but saying work at 9 a.m., I probably started work at like 7 a.m. or something. Like it didn't necessarily go by the actual timeline in the planner. I will say I used a lot of different stuff. Again, mainly Coffee Monsters Co. I think these were all like leftovers from the Coffee Monsters Co. This was a kit. Um... I used a lot of my stuff from her in the beginning of this planner just because it is what I had the most of and I was trying to use up a lot of my stash of stickers and I just had so many from her, which I love her shop. I love the Coffee Monsters Co. Helen is definitely an inspiration for me, um, but I, I used a lot of her things in the beginning and then as the year went on, I think I changed to doing not just solely her things, but doing other things as well. But layout wise, I was really enjoying just planning out my day with the in order of things that were happening and using the little icons to show snapshots of like what was going on. So like nachos, like I was sick that day. Um, I was doing some editing that day. <laughs> like it's just, I don't know, it's nice to have the little images and I definitely enjoyed that. I do want to continue to use the images into next year. I just don't think it's going to be this busy because I feel like I was writing down so many things in this space that was unnecessary that it was cluttering with everything else. I do like the way this looks for memory keeping though. So I'll probably continue this for my memory keeper just because it's easier to look at it, look back and see what was going on. Um, but for actual planning purposes, I think this is tougher 
to like actually plan with because you want it to look pretty in a way like there's pretty planning and there's functional planning and I feel like for me I was doing a lot of pretty planning in the beginning of the year and then I moved more towards functional planning so like this is a good example of functional planning I only had stickers at the bottom which is when I was doing my me time in a way and the top part up here is when I was actually planning <laughs> like so I feel like this is a more realistic spread of like what was going on and then, yeah, I just continued with all of my Coffee Monsters st Co. stuff. I'm not kidding. I had a serious, serious stash of her stickers that I was working through. Uh, I will say I have officially finished all of my kits from her. I don't have any more kits, which I was surprised about, which I think moving forward in my planning style, I'm not going to be using kits just because I don't. I don't see myself using them in a way just because they're, I mean, they're beautiful. Maybe I'll buy, I'll buy one every now and then, but I don't see myself using them regularly by any means. So these, this is, I think, when I started finally getting into my other stickers. So like these are sticker guru ones up here. The rest are the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I want to say I have like my own stickers in here at some point when I started my shop. That's probably, uh, that was in October. So this is going to be a minute. <laughs> But I'm not going to talk super much about, like, everything I did throughout the year just because you can watch my other flip-throughs by month for that. I mean, I talk about all the different things that I did throughout the year in those. Um, these are the washi tape shop. But I definitely was enjoying using up my stash. Okay, so this is when I got introduced to London Gifties, which is a... Uh, stationery store in London I believe or the UK I think she's based out of London um, but she makes the most gorgeous PET tapes and washi tapes and I became absolutely obsessed with her things and you'll see that as we get further into the planner but um, for the weeklies I just really enjoyed sticking stuff down like so this is kind of like when my style changed a little bit I guess so like I went from having more of like a kit type style where everything's blocked off with little kit sections to more of like okay I'm going to do more deco so I did more decoration with actual planning in between and then moved on from that to continue just the deco spaces like less kits I do think I still used kits but I used more of the decoration pieces like bigger stickers to to plan out my weeks oh this was a fun one this is when I did the Monet theme so the Coffee Monsters Co. Helen released um artist inspired washi tapes and she did Lily's uh I think it's Lily of the Valley or something like that oh crap Water Lilies G's uh by Claude Monet and I love that color scheme and I did my whole pen arrangement on it and just mm, I had to make a whole spread with it and I was really happy with this um okay this is more London gifties mixed in here I love this spread honestly this is so pretty with the colors the yellows and the grays um yeah so this is probably a couple of days where I just didn't plan it out I was just hustling and didn't have time to plan it so I just backfilled a few things to like make notes which you'll see, I think, it's, as the year went on, I did have days where, like, I wasn't even planning anymore, especially on the weekends. And I just did a little brief synopsis of what I was doing. Yeah, so this was my Halloween spread that I did before Halloween. <laughs> um, and this was using mostly my stickers, which I was really happy with. The little ghosties and the bats were all from my shop. The moon phases... This was so fun to do and I made my own little star tracker so I could rate my weeks and I I really enjoyed getting to play around with my own stickers at this point after I had made it through such a stash of them. This was more Halloween themed. I think at some point I went from like using a ballpoint pen to using my fountain pens in here. Let me see if I can find the day. Oh yeah, this is the week. So I went from using mainly like black ink in these pages, like from my Energel Klena, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to write with my fountain pens. I write with them all the time. Let me put it in my weeklies, and I fell in love, and from this point forward, I continued to use my fountain pens in my weeklies and really enjoyed it. Um, okay, so this was more of a functional weekly spread for me when I was really, I think, in the nitty gritty of getting stuff done. I didn't use hardly any stickers. I just used two pens and it was very functional for me, very quick. I was able to plan things out really fast. But looking back at this, it's harder for me to depict like what I was doing 
so in the moment this uh, this works for me better but like looking back I like to see all the stickers and then yeah I went back to using stickers because if we're being honest I'm, I'm a sticker addict probably like many of you um okay so this is when I think the first time I got sick in the winter slash fall months and I just used a couple washi tapes to just block out the days because I was not going to write anything because I was just really under the weather Okay, and then this was when I think I was still sick and I didn't plan the whole week. So this whole thing was blank. And I was inspired by a woman on Instagram. Um, her name is Jill. Uh, Jill plans the day. I think I tagged her when I shared this. But she does her traveler's notebooks planning like this. So she'll do deco on the whole page and then she'll do like journal entry through the whole thing. And I really, really enjoyed doing this. This was so much fun. So whenever I had a week that I just wasn't planning or I was sick or I was on vacation or whatever, this is what I did instead. And I really enjoyed this. This was a really fun practice and I will definitely continue this if I miss a week or something and I'll just go back in and journal in it. Um, just went back to normal planning here. Getting closer to the yeah holiday season. So this was, I think, Thanksgiving week. This week was Thanksgiving week, yeah. So I was, I was really busy, so I didn't have time to plan anything, so I just journaled. And then um, for this week was the week after Thanksgiving. We had our Andrea Bocelli concert, I remember that. And this is when we think we got sick. So we think we caught something at this concert because moving into like a week and a half later, like this week, I was so sick. The... And I, this is my last kit that I had from the Coffee Monsters Co. And it fit so perfectly because I was so sick this week. I was chills, like fever, the whole nine. And just having this down down and out kind of kit <laughs> made me really happy in a way. Um, but yeah, I was really sick this week. And then this was another week that I was recovering. So I think I got started recovering like right here which is good because this was the day we left for vacation for our road trip so yeah this was another one of those spreads that I just journaled through it because I didn't plan anything out I was too sick to plan on paper I mean like when I say I was too sick to plan or I didn't plan anything out I still was planning I just wasn't writing it physically in this book I was either planning at my phone keeping a little sticky note task list somewhere like it was just more of I need to function more like and heal my body for these times so we just weren't writing or I was either not with this book so I did not take this planner with me when we went on a road trip I didn't want to lose it I didn't want it to get damaged so I just kept another notebook with me and took like little notes and whatever throughout the days that I could look back on and reference and rewrite in here and make it pretty in a way which you'll see when we get to the back but I, I definitely enjoyed journaling through this since I left it blank and I did the same thing for this last week of the year. So I we got back from our road trip on Tuesday, I think, and Wednesday I had to go spend Christmas with my mom, so we were back on the road again. And then Thursday I think was like the first day that I actually got to sleep more than five hours, so I just slept a lot and then through the weekend we just I just kind of took it easy so I didn't plan anything on this week either and that's why I just journaled through it again for the turning the page new year I had intentions of making these swatch pages or gold pages or affirmation affirmation pages and as you can see nothing happened they're blank and they're gonna stay blank because I'm not gonna go back in and fill those out that's that's really pointless for me um for my monthly pages I started doing like the important tasks or important things to note and then goals and then I changed that throughout the year. This is a vellum from Sterling Inc. And again, I'm not gonna flip through or like talk through every day because this video will be literally eight million years long. I don't know. <laughs> but I will say in the beginning I was really enjoying just journaling with my astrology, gratitude, meditation, prayers, task lists, and then having a little entry on the side. And I kept this up for months. I was so proud looking through this again to see how much I had written down. Um, okay, this day I think I got a crystal order or something and I just wrote down all of the different crystal like meanings or um, what's it called? 
oh my gosh, y'all know what I mean, but I just wrote everything down because I was enjoying it, and then this day, I just didn't have anything to write that much, so I just didn't write it down. This day, I was out of town, so I just did a little brief synopsis of what I did. This is when I built my uh, new garden box this year. Like, I was just enjoying having a little space every day to, like, have a task list, write down my daily things that I wanted to keep track of, and then have a little journey, a journal entry space as well. But throughout the year, this definitely did change. So, yeah. Yeah, so this day, I just didn't write anything. And then the days that are empty like this, I didn't go back in and fill anything out. Sometimes I would. Uh, this was a picture I took of when it snowed for us here in Texas, which it has been doing for a couple of years now. And that's it for January. Yeah. So like, I don't want to talk, like I said, through every single page because we'd be here forever, but I definitely enjoyed using all of my fountain pens and keeping notes and adding pictures and things that I really enjoyed. And unfortunately I do have to cover some of those up because they are other people and they don't want to be on my YouTube channel, which is totally fine. Um, but I, I, I do try to make this more of like a space that I can keep track of what happened for me in the year. I was too busy to write this day apparently. And so I just added some stickers and a small entry. <laughs> um, yeah, I just enjoyed a lot of this. Okay. This is when we got our boxing bag. So we got a heavy bag this year and that was the sticker that came with it. I'm, I'm sure I'm not alone when you save stickers from all of the stuff that you get. Oh, okay. I'm so glad I put this in here. So this is when we got our set of chicks this year. We got them in February and I called them the golden girls. We started with eight. And if you've been following my channel for a little bit, you will know that I am now down to two chickens. So we had unfortunately some losses due to a predator in our backyard and yeah, we're down to two chickens. <laughs> They're still good and healthy though. And they're thriving, honestly, the last two. And we're excited to get more chicks again uh, coming spring. So that'll be really nice. It's so crazy to look back on this for me and see how my style has changed so much. Because this is mainly like writing very minimal stickers. Like hardly any washi tape anywhere. And then I know at some point that all changed. Um... Oh, okay. So this day, y'all probably can't read that, but I had to go help my mom at a ranch and we did so much manual labor that my hands literally hurt so bad. Um, we were pounding in T-post and like the grip I had, I guess, on it was so strong that my hands literally like I was stuck like this for like two days and I could hardly write because my hands were so sore. Ugh, it was such a battle, but it was so much fun and I'm really happy I helped her. But man. OK, yeah. So like this is again, like I was hardly using any stickers. I was just mainly writing. And then I think April is when I finally started doing more washi and stickers in the back, at least in the daily pages. Oh, I guess not. I was doing more still like just pure writing. Okay. Yeah. So this is a day I, I guess got really depressed and wrote it all down and that's why it's totally covered up. Um, so there's that. Okay. So this was actually a really fun day. So we went on a run and my boyfriend picked me a flower and I decided to press it into the page. Um, basically you just tape it down or like put it into something and like keep it closed for a while and it dries out and flat and it stays the same color. And I kept it and I'm so glad I did because it's like part of the book now. And I mean, I could take it out if I really wanted to, but I really enjoy seeing that because it's a fun memory for me to look back on now. Um, okay, there's more pictures there that I covered up. <sighs> I was writing a lot in April. Goodness gracious. Um, okay, so this was the start of when... I did my dandelion diaries. I think this was me having like a discussion with myself of getting hyped up enough to start a YouTube channel, uh, which has honestly changed my life. So thanks guys. Um, but yeah, so I was writing a lot about that. Oh, okay. So this was the Leard meteor shower. We got to watch this in our backyard, I think. And then this was when my birthday was. 
And I think this is when I started using more tapes and stickers. These were old stickers from my mom. This is when we got our Jeep. Um, the washi tape shop order. This was like all stationary pal, I think. And wow, that was it for April. Jeez, that flew by. Um, another vellum from Sterling Inc. Okay, so this is when I think I changed my monthly thing. So I went from doing, yeah, I didn't even do anything for April. So I was doing like just the important stuff and I think goals. And then on this month, I changed it up to where I did my goals and intentions. And then I did a review of that month. So like how it changed or how I did. And I think this is also when I started using more and more stickers. Oh yeah, this is when I hit 50 subs. Man, that seems like so long ago. All of these girls, by the way, are the washi tape shop. So I think this is when I started to make it make it through more of my collection of stuff. More writing. Goodness. Okay, and this is, I think, more washi tape that I was burning through. I have so many washi tapes, you guys, and I feel like every time I buy another one, I'm just hurting myself because <laughs> I need to use up what I already have. Um, okay, so this was a day that I didn't write anything and decided to do like a sticker collage at the bottom. I like how this turned out, but I think in the future, I would want to do it a little bit more clean, like less chaotic looking. I... I liked it at the time. I still like it now. It's just I want it to be more. Um, okay, didn't write anything this day. It was a bittersweet day, apparently. Um, and then I got sick. Awesome. Love when that happens. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so these were two days that I just didn't write anything. So I swatched a new roll of PT tape that I got from the washi tape shop. And that's what I did there. Um, yeah, more writing, journaling. This is when I got my baby Hades. He's my little gray kitten. He's such a little turd, but I love him. He's, he's so much bigger than that now. Mm, he's like almost eight pounds now. I think he's so big. Okay, I didn't go back and fill in my review for June. That's fine. More days here okay so this was when the coffee monsters co was coming out with her emoji release where you could buy like singles so like i could buy just d2 in like a full sheet and i went through every single one that i had that i was using the most of and i figured out i needed all of these ones that i didn't have so i drew them myself um but yeah i if she opens that up again i will definitely buy more because i go through these things so much i use like one every day i think they're they're one of my favorite stickers from her, hands down, just because, I mean, it's like an emoji in your planner, like, or emoji in your planner, whatever they're called. Um, this was my currently inked for June, I think. Yeah. Um, nothing exciting. Another mundane day. Sounds about accurate. Um, probably some of these days were days that I was just journaling because I needed to journal, uh, oh, this was my very first sticker that I ever printed. It was a freebie, or not a freebie, one of the digitals from the Coffee Monsters Co. More just deco. Okay, this was the annual pre-order for the Coffee Monsters Co. Washi, which I definitely partook in. Like I said, I have lots of her things. I'm obsessed with her things, but I am making my way through those things. Um, this was Father's Day, um, which I've talked about on my channel before that my dad passed two years ago now. So bittersweet days for that. Um, this was our sunflowers this year got so big, so big. So I, I've ha I have a garden, which I'll do a flip of my garden planner um, in one of these videos too. And our sunflowers got like 10 feet tall this year. They were huge. Um, oh yeah, 100 degrees this year or this past year in yeah, in 2023, it got to 100 degrees in June. It was really hot really fast. It actually killed off a lot of my plants really early, which I was not happy about. Um, oh, this was, okay, we got our first eggs this day. Um, and I made my first leather notebook cover myself. It was a good day. More swatchy pages. Oh, this is when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I, I had to document that. That was so exciting. 
it was amazing. I just, I cannot thank y'all enough for all the support you've given me and in the community and like the comments and talking and just, yes. Oh, look, another month I didn't go back out and film my review. Um, this is when my mom was moving, so I don't think I wrote a whole lot because I was busy with her. Um, 4th of July, I think we went to a drone show. These are old Sticky Club stickers. Uh, the Peach Festival that we didn't get to go to, that we wanted to go to. Yeah, this is when I definitely started using more and more stickers because I was just moving through my sash. I have so much stuff which is something I'll talk about when I do my 2024 planner lineup video I will talk about how I'm I'm what I'm doing with all that but yeah <laughs> this heat is just disrespectful <laughs> correct correct Texas get it together I'm just kidding it's always hot here um but yeah I do like taking these little sticky notes that are decorative or even like decorative pieces of paper and sticking them in it was definitely a fun practice yeah, I was just really using up all the stickers. Jeez. I still kept up with that same thing um, where I was doing the astrology affirmations, prayer tasks, and then a journal entry on the side. Oh. I guess I was having a bad mental health day on that day. And apparently on these days too. I do, I will say that is one thing I like about having a planner like this that's kind of like a planner and a journal all in one is I can go back and I can look and see wow I was not doing well I was not doing well these days or whatever and I have that on record forever it's on paper <laughs> um okay so these days I think I was moving my mom again we had to do it in shifts because she had to like we moved her whole house basically not like the house itself but like all of her belongings um it's so hot. I did these little daisy drawings. That was fun. Um, Helen's birthday sale. Oh, this was the week I started doing like little headers at the top. I liked this, but I don't think I continued it just because it was like, it was just extra time to do it versus just writing straight out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I, all I did there. Oh, this is when I changed from the Dandelion Diaries to my Dandelion Diaries because I wanted to get my um, website name, the domain that I wanted. This was more London gifties. I love the way this looks. Oh, this is when I started reading Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I've watched the series the by stars or whatever a few times I won't lie um so I was really enjoying the books and what happened was I got stuck so I'm, I'm still reading them technically uh okay so this is when Hobonichi started sneaking their releases for 2024 so I made a whole two-page spread of what I wanted from Hobonichi and I think I got almost all of it that I was looking at um just because I definitely wanted to have what I wanted, right? Like, I, I wanted what I wanted. I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so this was the end of August. I just did a little, I guess, astrology spread. Interesting. Hoenichi Day. So, uh, Japanese time to Texas time, you technically can order on the day before because it's, like, September 1st for them is... October 31st for us at like 9 p.m. or something so I got to order all of my stuff on that day it was so exciting um here's more of the monthly goals in review okay so this this I stopped doing I guess the little notes on the side I just made it more of like a journal entry and then I went back to the original way I was doing things and here you can see like my style has completely changed. I mainly just did stickers and deco. Like it, it's crazy to me to see how it's changed throughout the year of like using mainly no stickers to using more of my stickers up and not hoarding them anymore and enjoying them and then discovering new places. Oh, this day we went to the state park by, by us, the Cedar Hill State Park. 
Um, that was really fun. We took the dogs and it was so muddy because it had been raining and my boyfriend lost his shoe in the mud and it was so funny. Like, it was so funny. Um, a heavy design day. More of that London Gifties tape. I like how this turned out. That looks really cool. I definitely started experimenting more as the year went on for sure. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really feeling the Sunday scaries. Yep, I still feel those old Danielle past self. We are still there. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is the, uh, what's it called? The bean cards from the Coffee Monsters Co. It was like the freebie she did at this time and it was all washi. So I did like a little rainbow of washi over two pages and I tried to match my ink to the washies. I don't think I succeeded too well, but I still like how that looks. Um, Harvest Moon and Aries. This is my friend Victoria's baby shower. She had a girl or was going to have a girl. She's had the baby already, but it's, it is a beautiful baby girl. Um, now we're into October. This was when I opened my shop, my very first launch day. Well, my only launch day. I mean, you only really have one first, right? But yeah, this was launch day for my sticker shop. These are all stickers from my shop. So exciting. Then, oh, I got my Coffee Monsters code delivery. This was, I think these are some of my favorite tapes she's ever done, honestly. Um, we started watching the Hobbit series. I was using a lot more of my tapes. Um, my brother's birthday. Oh, this is one of my favorite spreads. Favorite, favorite, favorite spreads. It's, it's just so satisfying. This, this tape is from London Gifties, um, and these are the P tapes from London Gifties. I wish I could get more of her swatch tapes, but I don't think, I don't think she has any more, which makes me sad. Oh, this is also when I started a new style of writing back here. So I was using the timeline actually on the daily pages to mark like chronologically when I was going to do stuff. And then at the bottom is where I was doing my astrology affirmations and prayers. So I could still fit everything here, but instead of having the task list like this, I did the like almost like what I was doing in the weeklies, I think. And then I had a task list over here. I don't think... I kept up with it for too long though but I did really enjoy doing this because I felt like way more organized like way way more organized um <laughs> had some good intentions to write this day but honestly let the day get away from me <laughs> sounds accurate um Friday the 13th which is actually a lucky day for me everybody else is superstitious um, recovery day. I ate, I slept, I had a horrible hangover. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. So this was when my friend Madison got married. Um, and we were at her wedding until like 1am in the morning drinking. <laughs> and yeah, I had a hangover that day for sure. Um, yeah, just more ramblings. Okay. This is when I continued that schedule. I really like the way these look. I really like the way this functioned for me. Um, this was my spooky release when I released my little ghosties and my bats. This was the washi tape shop. Yeah, I just continued on like this for a good minute with like the, the schedule over here at tasks and like my daily things that I was writing down. And then I think I changed that at some point again this is from london gifties it was like her rainbow mushroom tape um this was when i got my holy grail pen from yoseka stationery halloween another month i didn't go back and fill in my review goodness gracious um yeah i kept i kept up with like the scheduling uh, and then I think I just stopped using this. So I did a weekend reset or I just didn't write on the weekend. Then I went back to more of like that minimal deco with like one sticker and just writing. I was using up my sticky club finals for sure on these. Um, New Moon and Scorpio. Yeah, I think this is when I went back to like more minimal deco versus having like so much on the page that was looking really busy. I was just enjoying my writing and just using like a few things at a time. Um, okay, so this was when, 
Oh, okay. So this is when Priscilla sent me my first ever Birmingham Pen Company inks. Love those things so much now. You have got me addicted, Priscilla, if you watch this, and I thank you for it. Um, so I saved her letter. This is when I got my London Gifties um, advent. So I took like the tags and stuff and stuck it down. I think I originally had left these pages blank. And I went back in and covered them up with stuff because I just didn't want blank pages. But I think I still have blank pages. I think. Um, this is when I was accepted into the Ferris Will Press Jubilee program. And this is my first set of inks. The plated gold truss is so warm and buttery. I, I have it in a broad nib pen and I actually really enjoy it. And then the Frontenac Bleu is like icy and gorgeous it's a little lighter than I want but it's so pretty too like I was really happy with both of these and I'm not just saying that because like they accepted me to the program I was just naturally really happy with both of these um okay and this was Thanksgiving I did a whole spread with the washi tape shop tapes um which are really good and I documented everything we ate for our meal because I feel like every year we have something different and I never remember what it was. So from here forward, I'm documenting what we eat for Thanksgiving. So I have a record of what we're eating every year. Um, Black Friday, Coffee Monsters Co. These were days I backfilled for sure. Um, blank page. This is definitely a backfilled page that I was just, I didn't want so many blank pages. So I went back and wrote down things, more blank pages and more blank pages. So I think because I have like, 10 or so blank pages in a row. I was just trying to fill them up with something. Um, oh, I didn't do my monthly review for December. Oops. Um, and then I think this is when I really started using this more as like a journal versus like task lists and chronologically scheduling myself. I was just using it as a journal because I was, I think at this point in the year, I was like, okay, new planners are coming up. I already have them all. I'm setting them up. I don't want to look at this one anymore. <laughs> so we're just going to use it as a journal, um, which is fine. So I did swatches of Coffee Monsters Co. tapes, and then I did swatches of the Birmingham inks that I got from Priscilla. And then I used this as like journal pages and more journal pages. I think, yeah, I really think I stopped using this as like a place to write down my daily tasks and just used it more as like a journal. This was um, a freebie with the Black Friday order from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is when my mom turned 61. This is when I got Pen Pal mail and Atlas Stationer's mail and lots of other things. So I just wrote all that down. Um, this is when it finally started getting cold outside and when we really started feeling sick. Basically... Well, actually, no, I think I started feeling sick before this, like at the beginning of December. But I was writing down the days that I was still sick for sure. Um, 13th. This is the new London Gifties Advent Tapes. I know I was using that there. And then this is when I got my Planner Monkey Co. Mail. More journaling things. This is when I got a very cool ink from um, Darren in Australia. He sent me the Melbourne 2023 Pun Show ink. It's called Boysenberry Swirl, and it is so, so beautiful. So beautiful. I really enjoy it. So thank you so much. Um, and then, yeah, more journaling. This is when I got my new Bennu, which I haven't shown yet. So maybe I'll make a video on that. Um, but I got a new Bennu, and I was really excited with it. It's so pretty. Um, this is when I got Notebook Therapy. Happy Mail, this is, I really wanted this tape mostly out of the whole bunch because I loved the shiny, they're like holographic moon phases and it's PET tape, so it's clear. And I was really wanting to use it for my um, tarot journal for 2024. This is when, oh, okay, this is when we were in uh, Las Vegas. So we did a road trip all the way to Las Vegas and back and I think we left this day we left thursday and that's why i think i did just swatches here because i didn't have anything to write again i didn't take this book with me when, when i was traveling so i just backfilled a lot of this so this was us in the mountains with our jeep we went on this off-roading trail it was 
so much fun. Um, this was Christmas Eve when I got to celebrate with my boyfriend's family. We did a whole game session where we played games and gave gifts and it was really exciting. Um, this was when we actually drove back. So there's me with my dogs. Um, I had to cover up the rest of it because my boyfriend doesn't want to be on my channel, which is fine. And we definitely had so much fun driving uh, back. We got to stop more places. We were actually going to sleep in New Mexico and it was so cold. It was like nine degrees outside with wind. It was so cold. Just, oh, it was too cold. So we, we just kept driving and we made it home on um, the 26th. So the 26th is actually the day that my dad passed two years ago. So it's kind of a bittersweet day for me. And that is probably why I didn't write anything. And I just swatched washi tapes because it's hard for me on that day specifically for, yeah, it probably will be for a long time. Um, for the 27th, we went to my mom's for Christmas celebration part two. Um, she made us these delicious steaks with like baked potatoes and green bean casserole. And it was so good. It was so delicious. Um, I'm definitely going to steal that recipe from her. It was so good. And then I think Thursday, yeah, this was the day that I finally got to sleep. So I just like, you know what, sticking a random sticker down and finally getting to write a little bit more. Um, more journaling again for the end of the year, two days left. Oh my goodness. Three days left. It's crazy to me that it's already 2024. Yeah, just wild. And then, yeah, New Year's Eve. So I wrote down the traditions that we do for New Year's Eve. So that way I have a document of if anything changes next year. And if you're curious, we eat spicy black eyed peas. We clean our house really well. And then I always make sure to toss out any expired goods um, in our fridge, freezer, and pantry. So I just go through everything and throw anything away that's gone bad or is going bad or will be bad in like a few days. Just to get on, like clean, fresh start for the new year. So the rest of these pages are the monthly accomplishments and memories I did. I'm not going to show these because they're really personal. Um, same with some of the back pages I have in here. I'll, I'll try to explain what I can, but I can't show everything. So like for the timetable, I didn't do anything here. And then for the graph page behind this, I did my weight tracking. And then for the other page here, I did a travel log. So I basically wrote down where we traveled, but I didn't fill out all of that stuff at all. I just basically left it blank. And then in the back here, okay, yeah, I did a word of the month for the boxes and I didn't fill out November or December, but that's okay. And then I was trying to track my movement with the 365 checkoff, which I think this is only in the um, English version. So there's that. And then at the very back, can I show this? I think I can. Um, I did swatches of all of the Coffee Monsters Co. tapes that I got <laughs> in 2024. And this isn't even all of them. It's just some of them. So yeah, there's that. And then for the back of the cover, that's, that's pretty much it. Alrighty, that is all I have for a flip through of my very chunky Hobonichi cousin. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very happy with this book. It will be archived and put on my shelf for years to come so I can look back and reference it if I want to. And yeah, I'm really proud of myself for finishing and doing as much as I did in this book this, this past year. It's been insane. And now I have to remember to say 2024 in my videos instead of 2023 because we are officially in 2024. Anyways, I want to thank you so much for watching, for joining me here today. If you used a Hobonichi Cousin or a Big Planner in 2023, I would love to hear how it went for you. Like, did you, did you fill, fill it all out, fill it out all the way? Like, did you drop it off half year and change books? I, I would love to know your story. Just let me know in the comments. But thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.